Today, let us focus our energy where it best serves by acknowledging our blessings. Good day, limitless, infinite, powerful, abundant soul. Matt here. Welcome to another session on Intention Inspired. We are going through 30 days of creative autumn journaling, a journey created by Marva Midkiff over in the art room. And today is day six, and it is all about gratitude. A gratitude practice is a daily ritual of expressing our gratitude for the wonderful things, people, and experiences in our life. We like to practice gratitude periodically throughout the day or whenever we start feeling just that sense of lack, like we don't have enough, we're not fully satisfied. And a gratitude practice can be as simple as listing a few things that we are grateful for in the morning and maybe three things at the end of the day that you're grateful for. So what would your daily gratitude practice look like? So let's explore that today as we feel grateful by acknowledging the bounty that we already have created in our life. Now is the time to really acknowledge the many wonderful attributes that you possess that you've maybe put there on the back burner. Feeling grateful about the wonder of your being has many benefits, and we'll explore some of those. Let us speak into our intention today so we can feel the gratitude in our body, resonating in our mind, body, soul. So feel free to repeat today's affirmation after me. I see and feel abundance all around me. And I feel blessed. Looking to autumn, to nature, this season for some inspiration because autumn is the season of gratitude. We know that gratitude is one of these feel-good places that um, mindfulness often invokes. But we also know that gratitude has many health benefits. There's so many studies that are being done that indicate that people who consistently practice gratitude are benefiting in so many ways. We learn that a gratitude practice affects our energetic vibration, your mood, the hormone levels, the health, all of those interconnected things that ultimately prime us into the feeling state that we are in, which affects our immune system, our blood pressure, Gratitude reduces our, our stress. <sighs> um, it provides higher levels of positive emotions like happiness, joy, and optimism. It allows us to act with more compassion and generosity. It allows us to feel less isolated and lonely. And it strengthens our social relationships and helps us understand one another a little better. And there are so many more benefits of gratitude, as you know. And just a reminder that we cannot be in two feeling places at one time. So if we're focused on gratitude, we find ourselves more often in a place where we feel abundant and happy and optimistic and honor our connections even more. And these are the feeling places of a joyful, creative life. Okay, so because autumn is the season of harvest, it is very clear why it is also the season of gratitude. When we place our intention on the abundance that we have created, and sure, we still have endless wants and desires, always, but look what we have accomplished. Look at the magnificence of who we are. And we, when we put our attentions on, on this abundance, our expressions 
of gratitude become clear. And focusing on what we have to be grateful for just raises our energy and shows ourselves what we have been learning, where we've been growing, how we've been evolving. And by following these cycles and honoring the seasons, we can move into the coziness of winter with gratitude and a clear path laid out before us because we are allowed to reprioritize our energy in ways that best serve us. Alrighty, you get your creative journal handy. We've got two fun ideas for today. Our first idea is a gratitude journal. And your gratitude journal could be as simple as a list or as expansive as a collage. Really, the intention here is to just put ourselves in the feeling place of abundance and gratitude. So don't get caught up too much on the medium. More so, how can we get into that feeling place of gratitude? So some ideas are, if you're limited on time, you could write three things that you're grateful for, followed by three affirmations of gratitude. And if you have some more time, you could expand that, expand that to like 10 things or more. Another idea is to combine our gratitude journal with a visual gratitude scrapbook by collaging images that we're grateful for. You could also make a vision board of gratitude. I've, I've seen these gratitude jars as well where you kind of like drop notes of things you're grateful for as you think about them into the gratitude jar. That's fun. And then another idea is just a stream of consciousness, free flow, right? about what you're grateful for, as long as you want to write it. Um, and that would just be to continuously write without correction, judgment, or thought. You just keep writing and just keep writing and holding that feeling place of abundance and gratitude in mind. Um, so if you're interested in, let's just try that one real quick. I will, um, I'll just share a few prompts to focus on at the beginning of a stream of consciousness journaling session. And you can just start free flowing as we ask these questions of inquiry. Who do you love right now? And why do you love them? Where is your favorite peaceful or inspiring place what traits about yourself do you love what do you love about your home Let's do one more. What are your favorite ways to express your creativity? Our second idea for our creative journal, if you want to add to your gratitude list or try something a little different, is to create a cornucopia on your journal page, a vessel, if you will, to fill with all of the things we're grateful for. Just another fun way to create a list of, of gratitude and get us into those feeling places. And that could be, again, more images or simply words. And you can play with it. Take your time and you can add to it as you continue your daily gratitude practice. And apropos to today's session and how we wrap up every session on this journey with a moment of gratitude. 
you are a remarkable being with so many unique qualities. Knowing this, what are you grateful for? Thank you so much for joining me on today's session of being in gratitude and being in autumn and reminding ourselves of our bounty. It feels good, don't it? Thank you again. So if you'd like to share with the community, there's a link to come join us over on our community platform. Hop over into the art room. You'll see us buzzing up a fun gratitude storm and and uh, lots of good good stuff over there. So thanks again. Triple thanks. Wow, gratitude is real. <laughs> All right. Tomorrow we're going to do a bit of resting and reflecting since it is the end of the first week of this 30-day journey. So I look forward to that. Have a wonderful day. Peace, love, gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Thank you.